Are you tired of seeing your hard-earned money slip through your fingers? It's time to take control and make every dollar count. Today, we're diving into the top 10 ways to maximize your savings. Stick around for tip number 10. It's a game changer. One, automate your savings. One of the easiest ways to start saving is to automate it. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a savings account every time you get paid. This way, you're prioritizing savings without even thinking about it. Start small if you need to. $50 or $100 per month can add up quickly over time. As your financial situation improves, consider increasing the amount you automatically transfer. If your employer offers direct deposit, you can also have a portion of your paycheck sent directly into your savings. By making it a habit to pay yourself first, you're building a buffer for future expenses, emergencies, or even that dream vacation. The key is consistency, and automating the process makes it effortless. Before you know it, you'll have a healthy savings account ready to support your goals and needs. Two, create a budget. Start by listing all sources of your monthly income and every single expense, from rent and groceries to entertainment and subscriptions. This helps you understand exactly where your money is going. Break your expenses into categories, essential and non-essential. Once you have this overview, Look for areas to cut back, such as dining out or impulsive shopping. Use budgeting tools or apps to track your spending and stay on course. Allocate a specific amount for savings each month, treating it as a non-negotiable bill. By setting clear limits on your spending, you gain more control over your finances and prevent overspending. A budget not only helps you identify where you can save more, but also enables you to plan for future goals, such as an emergency fund or a down payment on a home. 3. Use cashback apps and rewards. Cashback apps and rewards programs are a smart way to save money on everyday purchases. Apps like Rakuten, Honey, and Swagbucks give you a percentage of your spending back when you shop through their platforms. Whether you're buying groceries, clothes, or even booking a vacation, these apps can help you get some of your money back. Many credit cards also offer cashback or rewards points on purchases, so use them wisely. Pairing a cashback app with a rewards credit card can maximize your savings even further. Always look for stores with the best cashback rates and plan your shopping around those deals. However, remember to pay off your credit card in full each month to avoid interest charges. Over time, these small cashback amounts can add up to a significant sum, helping you grow your savings without making drastic lifestyle changes. 4. Cut unnecessary subscriptions. It's easy to sign up for streaming services, magazines, and other subscriptions without realizing how quickly they add up. Take a closer look at your monthly bank statements and identify subscriptions you rarely use or can live without. Are you paying for multiple streaming services but only watching one? Do you have a gym membership that's gathering dust? Canceling even a few of these can free up money to put directly into savings. Consider switching to a pay-as-you-go model for some services like buying or renting movies instead of subscribing to a service you rarely use. Many banks and budgeting apps can help you track recurring expenses, making it easier to identify what to cut. Regularly reviewing your subscriptions and cutting the unnecessary ones is a simple yet effective way to keep more of your money in your pocket. 5. Meal Planning Meal planning is a simple yet powerful way to save money. By planning your meals for the week, you can create a precise grocery list and avoid impulse buying. This strategy helps you stick to a budget and prevents food waste, as you'll only buy what you need. Cooking at home also means spending less on takeout and dining out, which can quickly drain your finances. Start by choosing a few recipes for the week, focusing on ingredients that can be used in multiple dishes. Prepare meals in batches so you have leftovers for lunches or busy nights. Consider buying pantry staples in bulk, such as rice, pasta, or canned goods, to save even more in the long run. By setting aside time each week for meal planning, you can enjoy delicious, homemade meals while keeping your spending in check. 6. DIY Whenever possible Doing things yourself can save you a lot of money that you would otherwise spend on services. From cooking meals at home to handling small home repairs, Taking a do-it-yourself approach can significantly cut costs. For example, simple car maintenance like oil changes or replacing windshield wipers can be done at home with a little guidance from online tutorials. 
The same goes for home improvements, gardening, or even making your own coffee instead of stopping by a cafe daily. Learning basic skills not only saves money, but also gives you a sense of accomplishment and independence. Plus, there's a wealth of free information available online, YouTube tutorials, blogs, and DIY websites that can guide you through almost any project. Seven, buy in bulk. Buying in bulk is a smart way to save money, especially on non-perishable items and household essentials. Stock up on items like toilet paper, cleaning supplies, pasta, and canned goods from wholesale stores or warehouse clubs. While the upfront cost might be higher, the savings over time can be significant. It's important, though, to only buy products you use frequently and that have a long shelf life to avoid waste. Consider investing in a membership at a warehouse club, as the discounts on bulk items often outweigh the membership fee. For fresh items, you can buy in bulk and freeze portions for later use, helping you cut down on frequent grocery trips. Just make sure you have adequate storage space to handle these larger quantities. 8. Use the 30-day rule impulse. Buying is one of the biggest obstacles to saving money. The 30-day rule is a simple yet effective method to combat this habit. When you feel the urge to make an unplanned purchase, pause and wait for 30 days. During this period, ask yourself if you truly need the item or if it's just a passing desire. This waiting period helps you avoid unnecessary spending and gives you time to weigh the pros and cons of the purchase. In many cases, you'll find that the initial excitement fades and you no longer want or need the item. If, after 30 days, you still believe it's worth the investment and fits within your budget, then go for it. This approach not only helps prevent impulse buys, but also teaches you to be more mindful of your spending habits, allowing you to keep more money in your savings. 9. Set savings goals. Having clear savings goals can motivate you to stick to your budget and make smarter financial decisions. Start by identifying what you're saving for, whether it's an emergency fund, a vacation, a new car, or even a down payment on a house. Once you've set your goal, break it down into smaller, achievable milestones. For example, if you want to save $5,000 in a year, aim to save around $417 each month. By setting specific measurable targets, you create a roadmap that keeps you focused and on track. Consider labeling different savings accounts for each goal to make your progress more tangible. 10. Review and adjust your budget regularly. Your financial situation can change over time, so it's important to revisit your budget periodically. Set aside time every few months to review your spending, income, and savings goals. This helps you identify any areas where you might be overspending and adjust accordingly. For example, if you've paid off a debt, redirect those funds into your savings. Similarly, if you receive a salary increase, consider increasing your monthly savings contribution. Life events like moving, changing jobs, or unexpected expenses can impact your budget, so staying flexible is key. So, there you have it. 10 powerful ways to maximize your savings. Start implementing these tips today and watch your savings grow. Which tip are you going to try first? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more money-saving advice.